this video, I'm going to show you guys how to spray your car in your own garage. Prep your paint with four to 600 grit sandpaper or a red scotch bright pad. That's going to leave the surface of your paint looking nice and scuffed and no longer glossy. Really important to mask off what you don't want sprayed. I don't want my vents sprayed here, so I taped them all up. Before we can spray anything, we need to make sure that it's super clean. Grab this at a local paint shop. Mm, dribbly, dribbly, dribbly. You need to rub and clean everything, baby. This stuff needs to be totally dirt and grease free. If you, next thing you need is a tack rag. This is to remove all that different dust. This stuff is a little bit sticky, but it doesn't transfer any of that stickiness onto the panel. And it is excellent at picking up any kind of dust that might be on you. Now that we're done cleaning it, it's time to spray some sealer primer. This stuff is a little bit thin. And essentially what this does is seal in all the different paints. You can do without this, but I highly suggest using it because otherwise you're gonna have to lay a lot of base coat and base coat is very expensive. Always use a paper filter while you're pouring your primer because it tends to clump a little bit. As the primer sealer dries, it goes from this glossy surface to a nice little mat like over here. Now it's time for the fun stuff, the base coat baby. Snapper Rocks Blue Pearl. This is a nice BMW color and uh, yeah, in the sun it's quite pretty. This much paint here, half a gallon of unmixed is about mm, $280. We're gonna mix one part of that base coat to one part of a medium reducer. Mm, drink up, Steven. You're the weakest. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Typically, I tack it off, get everything ready, tack it again. Make sure there is no dust. Spray your paint six to eight inches away from the body and make sure that you overlap by about 50% each time you do a pass. Maintain a wet edge. Before we can apply the clear coat, we have to let this base coat sit for half an hour. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my gun. We're gonna use a high solids clear coat. I got this at my local auto body shop. It is two parts this to one part hardener. We're gonna shoot with honestly one of my favorite guns. This is the Black Widow from Harbor Freight. It's actually the most expensive one they sell and I'm actually pretty impressed by it. Make sure you maintain a wet edge. If you're ghetto like me and you're shooting outside, you're probably gonna get some bugs. So bring some tweezers just in case. Boop. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it looks pretty good. Not 100%, but I would say a solid 90. If you like this type of content and you're not always following me, go ahead and click that button. And don't forget to tell your mother that I love her.